what's up guys I just want to do a quick video for you guys to say what's up because I missed you I hope you've missed me too but I haven't been uploading for a while because about two weeks ago someone broke in my car and stole absolutely all of my camera gear so it was a huge investment for me I've been saving money as much as I can to finally get all the things I wanted to be a well-versed filmmaker and suddenly get up go to my car and it's all gone so been real stressed out about it and today I actually found my gear in a pawn shop apparently the cops already knew about it but didn't contact me yet so I ended up getting a hold of them and long story short I ended up getting everything back. It's like whoever stole it took my entire camera bag straight to the pawn shop. Pawn shop bought it. They did everything they were supposed to do. They reported it. The police caught on the report. So they already knew about it when I found it. Hanging in the rain. Currently getting poured on, but I just got off the phone with the detective and uh, we have found my stolen camera. So I'm walking into the pawn shop now this is very bittersweet because in order for me for, to get my stuff back, I have to buy it back from the pawn shop. Luckily, they only paid $600 for it. So we're gonna go in here and get this. I've already been here and saw it, so I know it's the right stuff. I know everything's in there. I haven't looked at it super close. So just cross my fingers that I didn't lose anything, but other than $600. But let's go check it out. I take the stickers off? No, go ahead. Yeah. All right, so we got everything back. I want to give a huge major thanks for these guys. For one, for buying it. For two, reporting properly. This is my man, your owner, right? Yeah. So, thanks, sir. Yeah, no problem. Wolfpack, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so if you guys need any used electronics or anything, check this place out. These guys are awesome. I recommend all my business to them. They uh, totally saved my ass. So thanks guys. Take care, have a good one. But the unfortunate thing is, is I legitimately had to purchase all of my gear back off the pawn shop for what they paid. So that was one of two options. The other option for me would have been to wait for the whole court process and submit all of my gear as evidence in court court would take however long court takes and I'm sure some of you guys know how that is it could be six months it could be a year who knows when I would have gotten anything back at that rate so I bit the bullet um, the pawn shop ended up buying everything for I think it was 580 which considering that there's four lenses in my bag that cost about that much it was it was definitely worth it for me to just buy it back instead of going out and buying all the gear but there's a few things I learned along the way. Um, if something like this happens to you, um, first things first is ensure all your gear. Um, when all of my stuff was gone and I hit that realization, my heart sank. And something as simple as having runner's insurance could have saved my ass right there. Um, the second thing is, as soon as you realize that anything's gone, file a police report instantly. Um, I followed police report. I followed up with them and con contacted directly the pawn division and gave them the CCR number of my case so the pawn division could work with the detective on my case. And then I just started calling pawn shops. Every pawn shop I could find, everything, everywhere that takes used electronics, I called them, let them know what went missing, let them know what to look for, and ask people, ask other pawn shops where other pawn shops are, other places that they can refer you to. Um, the place I found my stuff, I actually knew about. I used to go there a lot, a long time ago, because I used to work right next to it. And they closed that location. I thought they closed completely, but they apparently just moved to the other side of the city. And one of my friends had mentioned them. And today I just decided to stop on my way into town. And sure enough, 
found it. So the thing is, is since I didn't hear anything from the police, who knows when they would have actually called me if I wouldn't have found my stuff in the pawn shop that they knew about and then got a hold of them and kind of got the process going. So I'm glad it worked out the way it did. I'm glad to have all my gear back. It sucked to buy it from the pawn shop, but it is what it is. I hope this doesn't happen to any of you. And one thing I have to say that I discovered throughout this process, which if you're a Sony user, sorry, because Sony cameras don't capture the, I think it's the EXIF data on the images. So there is a site out there called, I think it's stolen camera finder, something that simple, but you can actually enter the EXIF number from your pictures, search it through that site, and if anybody has uploaded any images taken with your camera, it will grab that number. And I'm sure from there you can find links to Instagram accounts, Facebook accounts, this and that. So that is another option out there if you're a Canon user, if you're a Panasonic user, if you're a Nikon user, if you're a Fujifilm user, really everybody besides us Sony lovers. Come on, Sony. I hope you're listening. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and stay tuned. I will have a video coming out shortly because it is almost the year anniversary of my channel. And I couldn't be more pumped to get all of my gear back right before that event. I'm probably gonna go back to the island you guys saw me fish on in my first video. I think, I think that's the plan. But stay tuned and Thanks for watching guys, I love you. I hope none of you lose your gear. And if you do, the best of luck to you. Stay vigilant, you will find it, you will get it back. Expensive gear doesn't go under the radar too long. Somebody wants to sell it and make their money. But I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you like down there, subscribe, give me a little support, show me some love. And until next time, Huggy Bear, peace.